Hey everyone, welcome, 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 and happy, happy Monday to you all. I am sending this beautiful divine message here with you as we connect even deeper to who you truly are. Now, as you guys know, I love working with the ancestors and one of the most fundamental things that they have taught me when it comes to my services, when it comes to my business, is really taking care of myself first. Now, in this email, I've talked about how important and vital it is to really take care of you. And in the example, I mentioned about the plane analogy, how when you go onto a plane, they ask you to put on your oxygen mask first before you place on your child, or anyone else beside you to assist them. Now, let's take that into a deeper dive here for a second and talk about that. Because truthfully, as women, we tend to actually always overgive to everyone else before we fill our cups. And this happens to be a tendency that I have noticed that we are still continuously doing to ourselves even if we're in the spiritual realm or if we're personal developing. Now, it is a hard trait to maneuver away from because the conditioning of it has been placed that you have to take care of everything and everyone around you first. It's been embedded into cultures. It's been embedded into religion. And it's most certainly been embedded to women. Now, as women, we strive to ensure that our family is well taken care of, well loved, and deeply connected. However, we lose ourselves in that matter as well. So here's something my ancestors have truly honed in on when it came to me. Number one, having conversations with your families about it. Now, here's the thing. You can't just jump into something without having those conversations to let the said parties know what is going on. 90% of the time, people don't actually understand that having conversations with kids so that they are aware and know what is going on when you are trying to do self-care will actually emanate the relationships that you have with them and ex and ex expand your guys' horizon as mother and daughter or mother and son, whatever it is, or maybe both. You have maybe more than one child. Number two is really connecting with your partner on this. Now, partnership requires communication and with communication comes growth and growing spurts as well. And it's so easy for us to just say, oh, I'm, ready. I'm just going to go do my thing. I don't care about you. That is the ego sense. The ego sense will obviously always step in to say, you come first, this and that. No, say hurrah. But at the end of the day, let's be realistic and honest. You're a loving, caring human being that also cares about other people. But you can't just jump the gun to create something else when it's really got other people involved in it as well. And there's, I'm not saying for you to overgive and overlove and do anything else that takes you away from who you are. And maybe there might be a small fear that comes into play when you are creating the space for yourself. But if you are not communicating with your partner, then yes, stresses and other items will come up for both of you when it comes to this space. Number three, finding a sacred area in your home. Now, it can be anywhere from your living room to the outside of your patio like myself or even in your office where you just sit and you do the things that are essential for you first, be it breath work, meditation, journaling, and so much more, whichever it is, that's up to you. No one can tell you what's right from wrong when it comes to finding the tunes that work within your vibrations of who you are. It is really essential for you to find out which one it is. Now, you can say whatever you want. Maybe you tried meditation and it didn't work. Maybe you did some journaling and that didn't work for you. Maybe there was something else. Continue to find what works for you. It's an ever-growing evolution of self-care. Self-care doesn't stay stagnant. It continues to grow. And number four, have fun. 
have fun when you're doing things like this. Shake it off, dance into the night, whatever it is, or dance into the day. Put on some tunes, listen to your music. Do the thing that gives you joy. Because if you're giving yourself joy, you're filling your cup, you're filling your life in the morning, and you're doing the things. A lot of people stay in this energy of calm, serene, you know, flowy, and it may not work for you. I, for one, have to have blasting music when I get up so that I can just feel the energies of support and love with my ancestors and really deepen that connection. And did you know in ancient times, they used to dance in the morning before they would go out and do stuff? (laughs) So it's really about you. It's about what you desire to do for yourself that helps you to sustain a self-care practice and to really move forward. And if you can find this, it will help you grow so much more than ever before. Now, I'm just going to say this very strongly. Ancestral Voice, which is the program that I've always, always loved. I never called it that, but I always loved it, is really about really tapping into your inner voice as an ancestral being because you are an ancestral being you're the lineage that is here that is the voice of all your ancestors in this very program i am here to dedicate my truest connection onto a one-to-one connection with you now i'm going to be starting off this journey in three months with those who are willing to really step up into who they are and become the connection of themselves. During this time, you're going to be receiving a bi-weekly call with me where we transform and transmute any energies that are no longer residing within you and really connect you to the highest purpose of you and your ancestors. During this time, the program is meant for you to really access, activate, and connect deeper to who you are. And if this is something that is calling out to you that you are really wanting to emerge even deeper from, then I suggest you come in. Now, I do have modules in this program. However, my deepest work is always within the one-to-one. And I am so deeply excited to be announcing the launch of ancestral voice because truly I am all about the deep connections to the ancestral wisdom the beings of our world and also the lands of our ancestors within us if you are a person who's been waiting to connect even deeper with the ancestors to know that you are part of an even bigger more brighter calling to yourself then this is the program for you Now, this program is $2,500 for three months, and it is going to be opening for you guys here as of today. And as you're watching this, I know that you are ready and willing to step into the highest form of yourself. And part of this program is to really honor your voice, your voice within you, and to honor all that you come into. In the modules, you're going to be connecting even deeper to self-care, self-love, mirror work, shadow work, and as well as what the ancestral beings are all about. Now, if you are the person who is deeply connecting to the ancestors in a way that allows you to open up into a different sector, it's probably because you're going into an even deeper calling for yourself. And as a person who's been working with the ancestors since the age of three, I can tell you right now, that is the most profound, loving, and most beautiful journey I have ever, ever encountered on. And those who come into this vortex with me and have connected with me on it are really deeply, truly all about awakening the ancestors inside of them and opening that door to the portals into the ancestral realm so that they can harness the truest power and not the negatives. And to really understand what it means to heal within themselves so that their ancestors also heal within themselves too. I hope you guys have a beautiful, amazing week. And thank you so much for taking the time to being here with me. I love you all and have a blessed, blessed week. Bye, guys.